month, and so my voice has not quite recovered, so I needed to use a microphone this morning. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a brief update um, on where we are in wildlife in Northumberland County. Um, like I said, I just got back from being at camp for a month. When you work for Young Life, um, they ask you to go serve at a Young Life camp um, for the month and do all the things that help it run. Um, so that we can keep the costs down for kids. And so my role was being in charge of all the college age volunteers. And the college age volunteers are called summer staff. And they also come to camp for a month and give up a month of their summer to volunteer, to wake up super early, um, and to do really hard work all day. Um, and at the end of the week at Young Life Camp and at Wildlife Camp, kids get the chance to stand up and participate in what's called a say-so. Um, and that is basically them standing up and declaring that they have chosen to follow Christ this week um, at Young Life Camp. And so every week we would work really hard and we'd be super tired. Um, but then at the end of the week on day six, we would get to see a hundred students stand up and say, this week my life was changed because um, I had an encounter with Jesus. Um, and so that has left me, of course, very excited for what we get to do um, here in Northumberland County. We are currently, we currently have 24 students signed up to go with us to camp this year, um, which is awesome. <laughs> Last year, if you remember, we took eight really sweet girls, um, and this year we're taking 24, one boy. Um, and it is such a diverse group. It's a diverse group racially, it's a diverse group um, socioeconomically. Um, and what typically happens in the last month before camp is we have a lot of last minute kids signing up and those are typically kids who can't afford to go. Um, and so it's really fun that we have those kids signing up but we also um, are in a little bit of need. Um, we have so many, so many kids this year that we are taking a bus. Um, last year we just took a van and this year I was like, oh man, we can't take that many vans so we're taking a bus. Um, which will be good for our leaders. We have three leaders going, um, so we won't be exhausted from having to drive all the way there right when we get there. Um, and our trip is really diverse, like I said, but it also has some kids who don't go to church, who don't know the love of Jesus, who, whose parents don't know the love of Jesus. And so we're really excited that they're coming with us, and we're really excited for the ways that people have stepped up to make sure that they can go. I have one mom who wants her, her daughter's friend, Sanai, to come, and she paid for her whole trip because she wants Sanai to know Jesus. Um, so I've just been really encouraged. Um, while I've been gone, all of this has been happening, so it's been really cool to see that, like, even though I'm not here, the Lord is still working and moving um, in our community. Um, and so I'd ask you if you would pray for our trip. We leave July 15th. Um, in the Beacon, if you want to access it online, we have a list of students and leaders who are going if you want to pray for them by name. Um, I can update that list because there are a couple more now, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, pray for our trip, pray for me, pray for our leaders. We have first-time leaders going who have no idea what they've signed up for. Um, but they're going to do great, and it's going to be really fun to watch them run hard after kids. Um, if you would pray for this speaker who's going to be presenting the message from up front, um, and then pray for what's called our cabin times. That's when we get to all sit on the ground together and process what we heard um, and it's, it's pretty cool to see a middle schooler talk about Jesus and ask questions that they've never gotten the chance to ask. Um, and most, most importantly, pray for kids to meet Christ. Um, that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Um, just pray that he'd be proclaimed in everything that we do and everything that we say. Um, and last but not least, pray for us financially. Um, like I said, we have a lot of kids who can't afford to go, and I've um, worked really hard to make sure that that is not an issue. Um, and we're almost to our goal, we're almost to the point where we can, um, where we can tell those kids, hey, your trip is paid for. Um, but we are still in need. Um, right now, we're still in need of about $3,000. Um, and so if you feel led to give a small gift to help go towards that this morning, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but most importantly, we want kids to know Christ. So we know that the power of the Holy Spirit is what's going to do that. Um, so please be praying for us. Um, and please reach out if you would like to know more about our trip and who's going and how you can specifically pray for each kid. Uh, but that's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> <Bye, kid. laughs>